Prince Harry's interview with CBS Anderson Cooper seems to have been filmed at the luxurious San Isidro Ranch in California, a hotel that once hosted wartime Prime Minister Winston Churchill, a royal correspondent has claimed. Harry is seen walking through the garden of the property alongside Mr. Cooper as they discuss the Duke's ongoing feud with the royal family. Located in Montecito, California, it has 41 cottages surrounding the garden. Each holds a fireplace, private patio and other extras. In total, the ranch covers an area of 1,450 square feet and is filled with antiques, Persian rugs and heated bathroom floors. The ranch is also located in the Santa Ynez Mountains near a 17-mile hiking track. Warner Cottage is the biggest of the 41 cottages there, boasting a 33-foot swimming pool and costing a huge $10,000 pounds) per night to rent. Writing in the Times and attaching pictures of the property, Royal correspondent Victoria Ward claimed the Anderson Cooper interview was filmed in what looks like the Churchill Cottage at San Isidro Ranch. Meghan and Prince Harry starting to get nervous over couple's longevity in Hollywood Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have begun to grow nervous over their longevity in Hollywood, according to former Vanity Fair editor Tina Brown. Oprah Winfrey, who hosted Harry and Meghan Markle's dramatic interview in 2021, is also said to be a fan of the hotel. Coldplay's Chris Martin and his former wife, actress Gwyneth Paltrow, got married at San Isidro in 2003. Julia Roberts and Danny Motor spent their first night there after marrying in 2002. The hotel has also been described by Variety magazine as a low-key old luxury resort with simple bungalows tucked into a mountainside overlooking the Pacific coast. Harry's interview with Mr. Cooper is one of a number of high-profile instances where the Duke will be tackling the division in the royal family publicly. In this hour-long discussion, Harry was asked about the criticism he and Meghan have faced due to the fact they have requested privacy, but are still speaking openly about the row. He responded, Every single time I tried to do it privately there have been briefings and leakings and planting of stories against me and my wife. You know, the family motto is never complain, never explain. It's just a motto. Harry is also set to discuss his relationship with the royal family in an interview with ITV's Tom Bradby. In a teaser for the interview, Harry said, I want a family, not an institution as he opens up about his relationship with father King Charles and brother Prince William. The Duke added, I would like to get my father back. I would like to have my brother back. And, seemingly talking about the royal family as a whole, he said, they've shown absolutely no willingness to reconcile. Harry's memoir comes after the Sussex's Netflix series, which included a number of damaging claims about the royal family. In recent weeks, experts have looked at whether Harry's new book could be just as damaging. Some reports suggest the royals are concerned about what Harry could allege, but others think King Charles and co. will be able to weather the storm. Royal expert Andrew Morton told OK. Last month, Harry's book will cause concern, and it will make headlines around the world, but it won't destroy the institution. And if the institution is so weak that it can't stand a ghost-ridden book by a junior member, then it's probably not worth keeping it. I mean, quite frankly, a book written by, a monarch, a future queen, Diana, and a book by the future King Charles is far more relevant and important than a book by, what is he now?
sixth in line to the throne, who will be rapidly going down the hierarchy. Mr. Morton added, the royal family are bracing for two things. They were bracing for the coronation coming up so, you get the sense of palace officials are on tenterhooks making sure that for King Charles, people aren't reminded of his emotional hinterland as it were. And with Harry's memoir as well, they are concerned that will affect the way people perceive King Charles.